Paul said, look, it's Ben Affleck. Okay, I get it. I get it. But to be, be honest, will you really want a Mark, a Mark Wahlberg? Really? Transformer? Really? really? Mark Wahlberg, <laughs> the whining Batman. Hey, guys, what are we going to do? We're the Dark Knight. No, I don't think so. Mark Wahlberg will be a horrible Batman. But let me get to the fact. Let me get the fact straight. All you fair weather Batman fans, all the Marvel fans, they're the ones that bitched about Ben Affleck. What I mean about fair weather Batman fans is this. Name me three villains that were in no movie, no cartoon, no video games. You can't do it. You're a fair weather Batman fan. When you read a comic, then you can come bitch to me about who plays Batman and who doesn't. Booyah. Your point, sir. I say this. I like Ben Affleck. And I love Daredevil. Like I said, Marvel. he... Like I said... He got issue with Marvel. I got issue with this, you know, in general. Just want the. Sh I just want movies get done right. I raised this point about Ben Affleck to Batman. One point that I want to say before it comes out, before they release the photo, before they do anything. When you have once again, I thought, the they, Marvel I thought fans. they did release the photo. Oh no no! It's not, not just Marvel. Also, people oh, that are die-hard Nolan fans, and you know, okay. this is why I go with Nolan fans because I get it. The, Those are the fair weather fans. Well, the Nolan fans are the fair weather fans. And this, and I get it. I I like the Batman films. Like don't throw stones at me. Hey, I have my issues. Throw stones. Being, I'll get something else to throw at you. I I mean, hey, I like them. I like them. And then all the time, I like, eh, okay, like this. What's on cable? Oh, look, Arrow's on. <laughs> so we'll, we'll but, talk about Stephen Amell but, and Arrow, but, man. but what I'm talking about is this, you know, a lot of people they follow they follow the, the, the film franchise, Billy Dodd film franchise, and I was watching this other podcast, I can't remember the name, I'll remember it later. But they also said like a lot of that stuff, a lot of the thing like fed off not just Dark Knight Return but also the long Halloween. And I think I'm pretty sure you read it. I have it somewhere in my in my house somewhere, I can't remember it. But I mean like stuff like that, you know. So I'm saying like, okay, that was like Chris no that was Chris Nolan's interpretation of Batman. And now this is Zack Snyder's interpretation of Batman. Well, Chris Nolan is still godfathering it. But what I want to touch on. Define Godfather. I, I, <laughs> I mean You're talking to an Italian guy. You want me to define Godfather? You'll be in the comic book in a comic book in a comic book thing. I mean, when I hear God I hear this. Then you're talking about Balcone if you're talking about Godfather. I mean, you're like the second bird that say Val Godfather, and like, okay, I get it. Chris Nolan, he made a billion dollars off the Batman franchise. He brought it back. I get it. Thank you, Chris Nolan. Awesome. But when I hear God, oh, they gotta go through Chris Nolan to get it okay to do Flash. I'm like, really? now, now what you're doing is you're talking like a man. You're talking like a man with a paper butthole. And I'll tell you why, because you sound like the Marvel people. Because Marvel people got Josh Whedon. Oh, he's in charge of the Avengers. Oh, he's doing. He's don't Godfather on, every phase don't, one, phase don't two, phase three. On Josh. Oh, come on now, come. That's all Chris Nolan. No, it, what DC Josh, should do? Buffy rocked. What DC? What DC? Too young for some of you guys. What DC? <laughs> let me talk. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. What DC? And what Warner Brothers should do? Get Paul Denny. Have Paul Denny play the role of Josh. Oh come on! They can get. They can get the Godfather. They can get the King of all geeks, Kevin Smith. Have him Godfather. I'm have him in charge of it. I'm the, if not Paul I'm Denny. getting on this whole Godfather thing. Like, you know, it's like in the end it really comes down to the fans. I'm serious about you about it really comes down to the fans. Think about it. If you got in like Chris Nolan, I mean Kristen Bell at Batman, though we tolerated the groggy voice. I I'm back. I'm back. What? 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 <laughs> I'm like this. What look? You some dude that kicks ass and he dressed in the in the dark suit. I get you. I stopped doing what I'm doing. Gotcha. All, all Michael Keaton did was whisper. George Clooney was just George Clooney. Hello, Freeze. I'm Batman. I, I, I Hello, like Freeze. Mike, I'm Bruce Wayne. Michael Keaton will always hold a, a like a he always be awesome. A special place in your heart. I understand. Special place, but you know what? They're always funny because now I watch it like this. Does the Val Kilmer? I mean, does the Vicky Bell real life recognize the voice? Like it just like hey yeah you know Michael Keaton's on that mask what's up Bruce okay so <laughs> now, now let me talk about that it is because of Michael Keaton it is because of Val Kilmer it is because of even George Clooney bat nipples himself I like and Bruce and and let's talk about Chris uh, Chris Nolan's Batman Christian Bale those bat costumes the fair weather fans 
the Marvel fans all have. The Marvel fans. Of course, because we have one. We have one that is a major pain in the ass. James Gagner. I shouldn't have said your name yet, but he's going to be a, a guest on the show. He's a major pain in the ass. He always throws everything out. Oh, Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. Oh, they shouldn't have did that with Superman. It didn't work. They shouldn't have did this with Superman. It didn't work. I'm talking about the Man of Steel. Oh, they okay. Oh, Demolition Man. Oh, oh, we, we will talk about <laughs> Demolition that. Man. Okay, but it was okay. Gun for chip. The, it is okay. Level down the entire building. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> it is okay for the Avengers to wipe out oh, half of yeah. New York City. Oh, yeah. You get on Avengers also, you know. Um, you but no Marvel fan complained about that. And now let's... We're going to talk about another... You can get on, hey, you can get on Batman about riding on roofs and whatnot. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> but I think they addressed but, that, though. You look... Because... Um, Alfred did said, you lucky nobody got killed. <laughs> That's damn good television. Yes. <laughs> All right, let me, let's, before we get back to Bash and Marvel fans and our good friend, he let me just, I, neutral. <laughs> that, let me, I just want to touch on one thing. One thing. The costume. It has not been published yet. There is no picture of Ben Affleck in the costume. A real picture. Can, can I? Okay. No, let me talk. Okay. Me, sh- This is what I want to say. First, Kevin Smith said, the, "I'll hail the king." He said <laughs> that the, he saw the suit. He saw Ben Affleck in the suit. He said it is going to be a Batman fans' dream, not Marvel, not a fair weather Batman fan, Jonathan Lauder, a Batman fans' dream, which means one of two things to me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then I read a comment, another comment about it, another part of the suit saying that is a lot of blue, which means they're going to do classic Batman, which means I hope it's going to be gray and blue, or gray and black. Or they might just make a My Little Pony. Oh, My Little Pony. <laughs> Get that. <out> of here. <laughs> a Batman. Yes, yes. For all you people that say Batman never had blue, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Pick up a comic book, read it. Preferably a Neil Adams comic. Pop okay. quiz, who's his favorite superhero? This thing. It's it's not Aquaman. <laughs> Don't diss Aquaman. Huh? Don't diss Aquaman. I would never diss a man that could control a great white shark to go to my house and eat me. No. <laughs> he just pushes him. He doesn't control him. He doesn't talk to them. He pushes him. Yeah, you, he yeah, pushes you push a bunch of great white sharks to come out of the deep and take out an entire fleet. Yeah, that's one hell of a push. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what I want to say, all I want to say, level the ships. Uh, all, all I want to say is, when the picture of the costume comes out, I don't want to hear no bitching if it's gray or blue. I don't want to hear one person say Batman never had blue because those people I just want to take and strangle because they piss me off. I study ten years of martial arts. Don't worry, I could defend myself quick very well, but you know, I'll lose my dude. <laughs> <laughs> I want to strangle them. To no end, but they don't know what the hell they're talking but about. But don't. But here, and most of them are Marvel fans. They don't know what they're talking about because Marvel is overexposed. I don't even call it Marvel. I say this. This is what I think. I think it is movie fan. You got comic book fans. You got you got comic book geeks. You got people that are Batman fans. You got people that are Marvel fans or DC fans. No, I didn't say. Well, yeah, some DC got a couple of good characters, but. Then, but then you yeah. got people that just watch movies. That just watch movies, and then all of a sudden, you know, like those are the ones I call fair weather Batman fans. And all the people that I say are just movie fans. You know, it's like you just into the movie. You're not really like a, the only. You might it good if they get into the comic books. You know, like they get into, but like okay, you watch the Avengers. I'm not into the Avengers, or I really like. But if I happen to like the Avengers, okay, I want to learn more about the Avengers. So I might go get the Ultimate Issues, or I might get some the Avengers uh, comic books, um, or I might get the audio book. I'm not sure you have one about the, the audio book of Civil War. Very good, very good one. No, the audio books I had, what, what were they? They were uh, The Death of Superman and Nightfall. I have, I don't have those, but I have... Okay, um, I'll give you copies. I got uh, Batman Dead White... Uh, that was based on the John Shirley not graphic novel. Okay. That white. That was a really yeah. good one. Um, I have. What is, uh, what's the favorite comic book cover? It ain't Marvel. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not biased. It's not Image either. I'm, Sorry. I'm not biased. Time to farm. I love. I have a couple of spawn issues. I, I, in my comics, I think I have one or two 
other books, maybe crossovers with DC and other companies. Crossovers, crossover. Okay, who actually read the crossovers? I did. I did. If who it wasn't, get if it wasn't the crossovers. for, you want to see him get pissed off? If it wasn't for the crossovers, I would never know who Icon or Static X is. Or Static yes, Shock. Would've cut. Static Shock. Yes, you like would've cut. I'm here. You would've hey, Ali. You know, and like DC, like, yeah, I love DC comic book. I also like the fact that DC do milestone. Oh, Louie. Louie was like, what's DC? What's milestone? You don't know a milestone win? Shut your mouth. Oh, <laughs> you mean the guy with the vacuum cleaner and the toaster on his head that looks like Iron Man, but he's really hardware. But to be honest with you, I like him better than Iron Man. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> no, he didn't, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yes, I do a spin on that one. <laughs> oh. It's all, all. Yes, he did. <laughs> if you think about it, John Henry Irons, Steel, is just Iron Man with a cape. 